For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. In this video, we're going to share with you our travels to Hardwick Winery in Massachusetts, West Thompson Lake Campground in Connecticut, Burlingame Campground in Rhode Island, and Greenfield Campground in New Hampshire. This is a beautiful part of the United States and we experience cooler weather in the summer months. Being from Florida, the cooler weather was very exciting to us. As we have mentioned before, we love staying at Harvest Host. One of our first stops was overnight at Hardwick Winery located in Hardwick, Massachusetts. The winery is housed in a rustic style building and we sat outside on the patio, listened to live music and sampled a few of their wines. We fell in love with their chocolate raspberry dessert wine. This Harvest Host site has a very positive vibe and was a pleasant quiet place to spend the night and we will definitely visit there again. West Thompson Lake is an Army Corps of Engineers campground located near North Grovensdale, I'm sure I said that wrong, Connecticut. We were in Site 11 and we paid $15 per night when we had electric and water hookup. The campground offers 11 campsites with water and electric hookups and 11 basic sites without hookups and it also had two Adirondack lean-to shelters. We did not take our boat out this time on the lake because of the water quality. It was a peaceful campground and for some reason we did not take many pictures. I think we were just in the mood to relax. Well, this has to be the strangest sewer connection that we have seen. We'll see how this works. Next, we visited Burlingame State Park in Charlestown, Rhode Island. We are packing up to leave Burlingame State Park in Rhode Island. It's kind of semi near the coast, but not on the coast. We um, There's a lake here, but we didn't get a chance to go swimming. We've spent three or four nights here. We came mainly because we had never camped in Rhode Island. We wanted to check it out, get it on our map and to see a concert, a Steve Earle concert, which we did Sunday night. So we've driven around a bit. It's, you know, there's some nice places. This campground, super, super notice. Don't try to get here before one o'clock. You'll be waiting. And on a Friday, which unfortunately is the day we arrived, it will be very crowded when you're trying to get in. Um, the whole campground was really full over the weekend. It's uh, obvious, you can see it's thinned out. There's hundreds of sites here. Literally, they're all in the trees. It's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, right now, I don't, I mean, I could see a few people through the trees, but there's definitely no one close to us. We had someone camped right at that second picnic table family a couple kids over the weekend but you know it's good uh, let's see is there anything else notable no hookups of course and it was pretty hot so you know the rv definitely got up into the 80s in the late afternoons and um the cup first couple nights it got cool enough where it wasn't bad last night we actually and then the next sunday night we um didn't get back till 11 30 so that wasn't bad and then last night we actually it rained and we actually turned on the air condition turned on the generator and ran the air conditioner for a total of about an hour and a half two different times and overnight it was like 77 still inside it was real high humidity too so that kind of makes for uncomfortable sleeping but overall i guess we more or less enjoyed this place we toured newport rhode island we walked the popular cliff walk and toured the beach 
According to the website, the Cliff Walk along the eastern shore of Newport, Rhode Island is world famous as a public access walk that combines the natural beauty of the Newport shoreline with the architectural history of Newport's Gilded Age. Wildflowers, birds, geology all add to this delightful walk. It is a national recreation trail in a national historic district. The walk runs about 3.5 miles and is about two-thirds of the walk is in easy walking condition. While we were there, there was some construction and detours. We visited Greenwich, Rhode Island and went to the Steve Earle concert in the Greenwich Odium. The theater opened in 1926. We walked around the historic town, had dinner, and attended the concert. It was a very nice evening. Greenfield State Park is located in Greenfield, New Hampshire. We were there for five nights and paid $26 per night. The campground did not have any hookups, but did have a dump station. We did have quite the adventure parking the trailer. We were in Site 98, and as you can see from the map, the road was very short and ended right in front of our site. We could not pull forward and back into the site as you would normally do in a campground. Luckily, no one was camping near us at that time. We were able to pull into Site 95 and creatively back into our site. Needless to say, it took some time and we had to trim a few branches to make the move to get into the site. If there had been someone camping on Site 95, we would have had to back out of the road that ended and then back down the road to get to the site. This is something to be aware of if you plan to camp in this campground because there are other roads in the campground that have the same road layout. When we made the reservation, there was no problem with the size of our 28-foot trailer fitting, but there was also no mention of the road ending at the site and the difficulty getting into the site. Once we were settled, we enjoyed our stay. We got out our hammocks because it was warm and we spent a lot of time outside. We enjoyed a nice boat ride and saw a beautiful eagle in the trees. Baby's coming. Baby's coming. We love this part of New England, and in our next video, we will share more of our travels. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.